Hey guys, it's Mason with the B team here at Ponds by B. It's the beginning of December 2017. We're at a Frederick, Maryland home where today we're going to start the build for an ecosystem pond. And today we're going to actually take you through that step by step process from beginning to end. Our homeowner today actually already has some of these larger boulders, so we're going to do our best to try and incorporate some of these big ones into the pond. So we use the machine to rough grade our first layer of this pond. Now we'll come in with the shovels and the spades and, and clean up all the edges, get a nice vertical uh, wall and then get a nice flat surface on here. And then we'll mark out our next uh, shelf. So we'll have two shelves in this thing. So we'll mark out our next shelf and start digging that out. In this system, we opted for a medium pond kit from Aquascape. Um, everything you need to build this pond. And the only thing extra we needed was this EPDM liner and then the underlayment for the stream area. So we got our, our skinner box set in place and plumbed already so we can bury our plumbing all the way up to our biofalls box. Our face plate and liner is attached and siliconed in place so it won't leak. All we got to do is cut the front of it and just put the basket in there. So the liner set and a real important step is to make sure we start from the bottom building and build up because you don't want to make your liner too tight. If you start on the top shelf and then work yourself down, sometimes you'll get that liner too tight. So always start from the bottom and work yourself uh, on up to the top because if you get in a bind with a tight liner, you can always bring it in a little bit and backfill it with some soil. Um, another important trick is buy some extra underlayment. We use this stuff to protect the liner. You get a nice sharp rock that you know that's going to look good. You can protect it with this underlayment when you're building your walls. So that's real important. And then the last thing we're doing is we're thinking about is our fish cave. So this area back here is gonna be a fish cave. So we're kind of building up here in front. We're gonna build up a little more. We're gonna put a big flat rock and then put river gravel over top of that so it'll kind of disappear. But the fish will have a nice place to go in here and hide uh, if a predator were to come around. Um, and they'll overwinter in there as well. So. Now, the only thing we have to do here is just the, the flat surface. We put the river gravel to colonize the beneficial bacteria. Uh, so then the first level will be done. All right, so we got all the rocks in, the gravel in, the lights installed. Now we're going to wash down the rocks and then hose out the dirty water. So what we do... We have a holding tank, actually a couple holding tanks. This one has 600 gallons of water in it. We fill that up while we're working and then we pump it into the pond. And you see Mason starting to wash all the rocks down. And then we'll take our other pump and pump that water out and it just gets a lot of that dirt and debris out of there.
All right, guys, so we have water running now. Um, the pond is complete and everything is up and running. And we want to kind of walk through the system real quick to explain how it all works. Um, one thing that's real important is the rocks and the gravel. I know we showed you the whole process, but the rocks and the gravel are part of this ecosystem. Later, we're going to come in and get aquatic plants and acclimate the fish to the pond. Um, so I want to show you how the system works here. So over here is the skimmer box. And the skimmer box houses the pump. And this is the, the first phase of cleaning this guy up. So it has a basket in it. And then down below the basket, the basket's nice and it's got a handle so you can just kind of dump it and clean it real easy. And that's, that's the bulk of the work with this system. There's a pre-filter down there. There's a check valve and then your pump is housed in this box as well. You can see the core that runs to that outlet. So it's that simple. It kind of works like a swimming pool. All the water is getting pulled in there. The debris basket catches it and the filter filters it. And then it, the pump pumps the water up to your biological filtration. So let's take a look at that. So here's your biological filtration. And what's great about this, one, the pump pumps the water up to it, but it pumps through the bottom of this box. And it slowly rises. And as it rises, it cleans the water. But it also provides a more natural flow coming out here. Instead of being forced out of the pipe, it gently comes out and creates a natural looking waterfall. Now we'll come in here as well and put some iris and a couple other aquatic plants. And that root system will help clean the water as well. And then we also created some little pockets around this box. We want to kind of blend it in with the area. But we'll landscape these pockets up to start naturalizing this whole pond. And also, you won't see dirt anymore. You'll see, you know, lush landscape around the whole edge of this, this thing. So that's our whole system. You kind of see the rocks and the gravel and the stream and the boulders. They start to bring a natural feel to this, this whole uh, ecosystem pond. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this video.